we're going to do evaluating expressions with rational numbers. That sounds really fancy, but all that really means is doing math with fractions or decimals, and that's about it. So let's take a look and see how to do this. So let's say we have 3 fourths plus 0 0.2 we're going to either have to turn these both to fractions or both to decimals. And you pick whichever one's easiest for you, unless it tells you to put the answer in particular form. So this one is really easy for me to turn into decimal because I know 3 fourths is 0 0.75. And we're going to add that to 0 0.2. And then we know how to add those. We stack them, lining up the decimal. And we say 5 plus nothing is 5, 7 plus 2 is 9, and we have our decimal, so the answer is 0 0.95. If we wanted to, we could have done this with turning everything into fractions, but it would have been a little more difficult. But 3 fourths plus, and this is equal to 1 fifth, if you don't remember how to do that, look at the previous video that teaches us how to do that. So we get 3 fourths plus 1 fifth. We have to make our little L chart. That goes into one time. So then we take 3 fourths multiplied by 1 in the form of 5 over 5. We get 15 twentieths. And then we have 1 fifth times 4 over 4. And that's 4 20ths. And so we add those together and we get 19 20ths as our answer as a fraction. So either one of those works. But notice I had to turn them both to the same type of number. So that's pretty straightforward for those. Now, the only other thing that you might run into is what if we have variables? Well, that's really, really, really simple as well. So let's say we have... Um, x plus xy is with x equal to um, 1 half and x, and, I'm sorry, y equals 1 third and so then this would just be one half plus one half times one third and you would do the arithmetic there now i know we haven't fully talked about multiplying fractions and things like that but all you do is just replace it in there but that's all that evaluating expressions with rational numbers is it's just doing the math problem substituting in as need be don't make it any more complicated than it needs to be. It already sounds plenty complicated, but don't make it any more complicated.